In this video, I'll show you how Task 3D Modeler can import GBXML files from other software packages. I'll start by importing a typical residential block. Once the model has been imported, I can see a preview of the 3D geometry. The GBXML doesn't contain the entire original construction from the previous software package, but it contains enough information that we can reconstruct the geometry in TAS. I can view the individual spaces as part of the building or the surfaces and look at the different types of surface in the building. Depending on how well the building was modelled in the previous software package and depending on that software package's export sometimes we will see gaps in the GBXML model. Fortunately TAS can heal and forgive these gaps so here where we have an air gap in our roof task creates a new building element to seal the gap, giving us completely enclosed bounded spaces. When I'm happy with the preview, I can create a task 3D model. Here I see the imported building which is now a TAS 3D model and I can continue to edit this and make changes as I would any other model that I created in TAS. Where TAS has created this air building element I can choose to seal those gaps and then when I look at the analysis model TAS presents me with a list of areas where it has corrected these problems in the GBXML file. So that I can check these without having to search through my building. When I finish making changes to the building, I can view the shadows and see how they change for different sun positions. In most cases, during the design process, I will want to import changes or revisions to the original model. In this case, I can import an updated version and merge those changes into my model. To show an example, I'll begin by importing a very simple GBXML building. Here I see a building with one wing longer than the other and where TAS has detected gaps and holes in the wall it's created windows that I can edit. I'll edit this window to add a frame. When I edit the window type all windows of that instance are updated. At this point, the design of this building may have changed. For example, this wing might be extended to the same length. When this happens, I simply import the revised GBXML file and merge that into my existing 3D model. As you can see, the changes to the design have been imported but the modifications that I previously made in TAS have continued not only to be applied to the existing windows but also new windows of the same type. 